Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to make a quick but important video. But before we jump into the topic of today. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so you can help this channel grow. So more and more people that need this information will have an easier time finding it. Because the more this channel grows. The more it might show up for people just randomly surfing YouTube. And this information just might help them wake up. Like many of us woke up. And if you already subscribed. I do thank you for your subscription. And putting up with my cartoon robot voice. All of you mean a lot to me. But don't click the little bell if you haven't yet. Because by doing so. It will let you know each and every time I make a new video. Also. Don't forget to share and like. This too will help this information to be found by those that need to find it. And it will also help the growth of this channel. And if you would like to support even further. You can do so by the way of Patreon. And if you are already supporting by the way of Patreon. I thank you from the bottom of my cartoon heart. Now on with the topic at hand. Narcissism. And the social engineering that affects both men and women. You see. Yesterday, I made a video talking about one of those dating gurus and their advice towards men. On how to deal with the games that women play. And this guru teaches how to play games back. In order to get the attention of the woman they want. And one of the main points I made was that when you start playing games back with a game player. All you have is one big game and not a relationship. And when the games get old. You will get left. And that's a bad relationship and person to invest your time into. But. And there is a but. The second thing or point that I made. Is some of the things that Marnie the wing girl. Who is a woman. Some of the things and points she had about women. And why she was teaching these crappy games was indeed correct. And when I made that statement. Commenters that asked the question. What do you mean by most? When in regards to talking about women. Well. Let me explain. I mean most when I'm talking about women in this sense. Just like I mean most when speaking about men. You see. I said in this video. For any of you ladies to go to the newsstand where they have hundreds of magazines. And go through these women magazines. And you will find article after article that teaches women how to manipulate and trick men to do this and trick men to do that. This isn't fantasy. This isn't something made up. This is just a fact. Take another moment and carefully watch television and watch how men are treated and how women are treated. And you will see whenever a woman is seen as she got one over or she was able to successfully trick or lie to a man. She's cheered. You see. I still believe you have an equal amount of evil on both sides. Men and women. But the elites know. When trying to enslave a people. That the best outcome. Is to go after the women first. And the men will then follow suit. So let me ask you. Do you think only a few people go along with the social engineering? Or the mass goes along with it? Social engineering isn't out there because they hope a few people go along with what is being put upon society. The social engineers work night and day and day and night to manipulate the masses. So yes. After decades of teaching women in a negative way on how to have relationships. Women. Some that are well-meaning. And many that aren't full on narcissists. But that have learned a really bad way on how to have relationships. Which is going around testing men with these ridiculous tests. Which does nothing but undermines the man that might be a good fit for her. And puts her in a mode of being addicted to game playing. But the social engineers know. That the man. Because they desire the attention and affection of a woman. Even the best of men will learn to become game players in order to have some interaction with women. You see. Though many many years ago. You still had narcissists and bad people. Covered and overt. Being a game player wasn't something that was glorified in our society. 
women that were game players were seen as bad and not marriage material. And men that were game players weren't seen as real men even by other men. But somewhere along the line that changed. And that changed with the social engineers wanting to break the family structure and the family unit. And they knew the way to do that is in any slave society. Is to put the woman in a dominant role over the man as their controller and as their master. And knew what would happen as a result. Just like mice trying to navigate a maze. They will continue to try to find a life hack in order to get or have a normal relationship with a woman. A woman that isn't acting like a state appointed overlord. But soon enough they find these life hacks are just games that leads to more games. And these games lead to trouble. And before you know it. The mice stop caring about getting to the end of the maze. They stop fighting. And they stop caring. And that's exactly what is happening right now. You see. When Marnie mentioned that most women play these hoop testing games. Or what I call toxic hoop testing games. Is because most do as a result of what the social engineers have taught women to do and accept as a normal way to have a relationship. And what's interesting to me. Is some women get mad when men and women. Yes men and women. Say. Most women play these games. Well I have news for you. If you aren't playing these games you have nothing to worry about. But to assume that most aren't playing these games. Is to assume the evil elites aren't doing their job correctly. And trust me. They are. They know exactly what they are doing. But with that said. As a result of these games that women are playing. Men are playing them right back. And that's why I said. I believe there are just as many men and women that are playing games superficially that aren't complete narcissists. They are people that have been just swept up by the social engineering. I've seen with men. Where men will be in this mouse maze. Bumping into wall after wall the social engineers have set up. And before you know it they get desperate. And they search out one of these gurus to find a life hack all so they can have a woman not leave them. Or whatever. And sometimes these life hacks work in the short term. And when they see women respond to this man now being a jerk. And sadly treating women like dirt. Guess what's going to happen. He's going to keep on doing it. And other men are going to see it. And the success that is had. And they are going to do the same toxic behavior too. And just like most women are caught up in this. Most men are caught up in this too. So don't get offended when you hear these types of things. Because when you get into that mode of thinking. It's hard for you to see the invisible bars that are in front of all of our faces that the social engineers put there. Something to think about. Well that's all I have for now. I hope everyone has a blessed day. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.